in those days. We never begin to measure up to what Dr. McGreevy gives in this, has given in this city. Working Men's Hospital in 1881. It seems that November 5th, 1881, there had been an inspection of the hospital and the account was published in the Daily Miner. And uh, it reflected that the bedding and sheets were evidently carefully cared for, that the, uh, there was, the floors were clean, uh, the china and pottery seemed to be bright and attractive looking, but nothing was said about how people were nursed. Well, there happened to have been a gentleman in the hospital, I think it was in August of 1881, and later he wrote a letter to the editor about what he found when he was a patient in Working Men's Hospital. And let me share that. He said, I had my own blanket with no sheet on the bed. My nose bled on the pillow slip the first night. I turned it over and it was on the bed when I left. I was lousy as was every other patient and never had even a sponge bath in the whole month. Now, he tells another part of his story. He says, one evening they brought a patient in and put him in a bed down the hall. Everything was quiet until about 10 o'clock when I noticed him at the foot of my cot with his eyes shining like balls of fire and he made a lunge at me and I gave a scream and two of the convalescents came to my aid. One fellow hit him in the jaw and floored him and the other one held him down. And their cries brought a single attendant on duty and they carried him back to his bed, lashed him there with a rope. I heard him ram his head against the headboard repeatedly until about 11 p.m. when everything was quiet again. And the next morning, the convalescent patients came by and he was commenting that it was quiet after 11 o'clock and they said, well, he was dead. So those were the conditions. Now, what, was, what did St. James offer when it opened in November 1881? Well, we've already described the private rooms and baths that were there and the checkerboards. There was also a barn in the back with a couple of cows in it to provide fresh milk for the patients. A November 17th item in the paper uh, related to the county patients being moved from Working Men's Hospital or to Sisters Hospital said the men were suffering with paralysis, typo, malaria fever. Said we are informed that these men stated voluntarily that they were afflicted with vermin and desired a change of clothing. This was furnished by the sisters to those who did not have an extra quantity of underwear. And I'm sure that it was a constant problem. By November 30th, two weeks later, Maggie Robinson is confined to her room with cancer. And at times, she suffers great pain. She is visited by the sister at 9 o'clock in the evening before retiring, and again early in the morning. So this is about the first instance I've found of what kind of nursing care. She, with three other patients, has comfortable quarters in a house adjoining the hospital. Well, how come? They never put women in the hospital with men. And the sisters had, when they first arrived, they used a log cabin behind the hospital where they lived. But I think eventually this log cabin be, was used for patient care. Also, in order to guard against contagion, arrangements have been made to have all pa patients examined by physicians before admitted. John McMahon, who was supposed to have smallpox, has been declared free from the disease. But later in December, Mr. Kling called at the hospital and he wanted treatment. Now, he was immediately placed in the outhouse. It's not what we 
only thing is the outhouse. A log building entirely separate and a distance from the sister's hospital. The physician was called. He was diagnosed with smallpox and he was immediately sent to the pest house. Somebody in January was admitted with an abscess arm and a severe cold. And uh, Mr. Blackburn, who fell from his wagon, says his lips, nose, and cheeks are bully swollen and show plainly that it is with only the kind and gentle treatment that is characteristic of St. James Home that will cause his speedy recovery. Now, the, um, an ad in the uh, youth directory Alcoholism, injured leg, flu, 
include current Taj, which would be a DNC, appendicitis, injured hand, flu, tonsillitis, injured cap of the right knee, and here's morphism, which is uh, addiction to morphine, alcoholism, and <coughs> flu. And notice how many are flu. And how many 